There's a few different things I want to talk to you about, but first off, let's do the fun one. So, chat. I... I've been telling you guys for a while that one of the most important things that Overwatch has been doing the last year, give or take, you know, at least in the last, like, six months, right? In the last, like, six months... I would say that Overwatch has done a really good job on trying to be more communicative, right? They've tried to explain what they're doing a little bit more. Everything all the way back to, like, the experimental tournaments back last October, November, December, right? They try to be more communicative to, uh, to the audience, but they were failing at it. They just weren't fucking good at it. Like, just point blank. Like... I don't go to no normal like I hate to I hate to shit on the forum forum Andy's here like I really fucking do I don't mean it but it's kind of true and hear me out the whole way before you get upset no normal person when they look for news of something goes to the forums it just of anywhere anywhere nobody fucking does it like ever like it's it if I'm looking for like what's going on in Valorant I open Twitter there's other forms. You can there's YouTube videos people make about drama or things that are happening. TikToks. Fuck, even Instagram's probably even better, right? But no like the the forum communities of any game is probably so small that nobody fucking looks at it. And I know there's some people that do. I I get that. When I say the words no one, I mean like 95% of the population of the game, maybe even more. That is kind of like you know what I mean? Hopefully. If not, sorry. Maybe I'm kind of like a little high over your head. But anyways. They've always sucked at it. And they've tried to be better with it. And they try to like make the blog post. But again, nobody fucking reads the blog post. I even make videos of me reading the blog post. To try to like, you know, make it like a little bit more known. But nobody... Dude, you want to see what the watch time looks like on some of these videos? I'll make like a 12 minute long video of me just like talking, explaining the blog post, and reading it to you guys, and telling you the important points, the watch time is like two and a half minutes. Do you know what that means? That means people click on for one minute, maybe two, and then they leave. Very few people watch past that, because the average watch time of a video is typically around 60 to 65% of the video, right? Unless it's an ex exceptional video and it's much higher, or it's a dog shit video and it's a lot lower. But the point is, nobody watches it. But they've been trying to be better, and they've been trying to communicate more. And I think I might be way out in left field on my tinfoil hat theory here. But I noticed something a few weeks ago. I noticed this account popped up. Now, I know what you're saying. It's like, oh, it's just a fake Aaron Keller account. But when I clicked on the followers I know, I noticed, like... Andy was here, and I noticed John Spector was here, and I'm like, why would they be following a fake account? Well, today we learned it's not fake. It's actually Aaron. What that probably is, or at least what I'm hoping for the future is, if you follow Apex in any way, shape, or form, let me follow, let me show you some Apex. Apex has people like this. This is hideouts. Had to downgrade to tier one, but that doesn't change my distaste for the Patriots. Thanks, Double. Appreciate the prime for 14 months. You're good, dude. This is hideouts. So hideouts is uh Apex security. So basically, he runs um, Apex is like anti-cheating department. And what Hideouts does, which Overwatch, if you're listening to, we don't have one of these come Overwatch 2. We're fucked. Thank you. Anyways, sorry, a little public service announcement. Hideouts goes through with his team and they watch streams all day long and they go through different Twitch streams that are people that just grind all day and they look for cheaters and they snipe them in real time. Warzone even has their own thing. Like, have you ever watched Tim the Tatman? When Tim streams sometimes and someone's like hard cheating, he just like, he's like, yo, can someone take care of this shit? 
Guy disappears in like two minutes, right? This is what Apex has. Now, the whole point of this is that these are very public figures that also communicate on forms outside of Blizzard forums, meaning blog posts, website posts, and Blizzard forums, AKA the things nobody fucking reads. This is going to actual media, like Twitter. It's very important because it makes it easier for people to respond and listen and see to. It doesn't really help. Are you talking about like the work they do? Yeah, Apex has a cheating problem, absolutely. But if, if Apex was in Overwatch's spot, where Overwatch is doing zero about cheaters at the moment from what I heard, um, I, I'm telling you, it would be a bajillion times worse. You can criticize how much they do and say it's not working, fair. I won't argue with you on that, but the fact that they exist and they actively are trying to fight against it, that is an, a foregone conclusion of false. And they are absolutely doing that. So, to bring it all back, what does this mean? Hopefully this means, come Overwatch 2, we start to see Aaron become somebody who is a face on Twitter, who starts to talk about some of our Overwatch problems. And not only here's the concerns of content creators, but here's the concerns of the greater community. Because these types of things are so powerful in gaming. I see people from Riot all the time talking about Valorant, I see people from Apex talking all the time about whatever's going on in Apex, whether it's the way the rank system works, whether it's about the way the cheating works, whether it's about um, the new season, skins, whatever it might be, they are on forms of media outside of their little bubble and reach way more people. Uh, climbing Sloth things in tier three for seven months. Appreciate it, thank you. <sighs> so, anyways, uh, my hope is... Okay, hold on. Started as a lurker, now we're here. Thank you. Appreciate it, Anna. Thank you so much for the two hundred four months. Um, the point is being here is that I hope to see not only Aaron but other members of the Overwatch team in the future uh, become greater presences on platforms beyond Blizzard-controlled ones. So not only myself but other people can see what they're saying and they can their message gets delivered on further platforms than just a blog post, because in reality, it doesn't really go anywhere. Bonus, uh, bonus edition, bonus edition, bonus edition, chat. There is also, there is also a Overwatch TikTok account that is verified. It has no posts. I was, hey, I was under the top, top, uh, top 100 people that followed it, by the way, one second, sorry. Crazy, what the fucking shit, dude. With the 50 gifted subbies. Yo, chat, can we get a massive spam? And I mean a massive spam. Some hearts and some blankies from Crazy. With the 50 gifties. Thank you so much, Crazy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for always for me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I'm muting lights again for a second. Sorry. You're good, dude. You're good. Thank you so much for the support. Seriously. I appreciate it. All right, back on the Hopium Copium train. Ready? Overwatch, hopefully, and I, and, and to be honest with you, with John Spector in, in charge of like their business aspect, I'm pretty confident that they've kind of identified that they're fucking up in a lot of ways, uh, not being able to reach n not only new audiences, which is the whole point of why like the forums and website, all stuff sucks ass. Because unless you're a hardcore player and a hardcore forum reuser and blog reader, you're not reading those. But they basically have failed in being able to not only portray their message, how, not only, okay, they failed in how they communicate, which is like the platform, what words they use to communicate. So basically, whether it's like this right robotic, like PR speak, uh, yes, like they want, they want something more genuine and actually want to feel like they're talking to a person and they want to like, be able to feel like they're having a conversation in some way, shape, or form. That's part two. But part three is is not only the platform, but the way it's delivered. And they could have a platform of their own, you know, areas of own com like communication areas of forums and stuff. But like, I wonder, I wonder if we end up seeing like, you know, remember Jeff's like, hey, like it's Jeff from the Overwatch team and the developer updates. 
will we see developer updates in TikTok format? Holy fucking shit. We have we have aged into the future of the Zoomer. We are in the Zoomer territory now where where dev updates are done in TikTok forums with with noises and and dances and I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm, I'm just fucking with you on the last part, but but seriously though, it is actually really cool to see. So, uh, uh who knows? I hope I I could be jumping the gun here a little bit, um but if you have seen this Aaron Keller account, it is it is confirmed to be really Aaron Keller. So hopefully we see him get the check mark there soon. I mean, I don't have a check mark, but like, hey, uh, who am I? I guess. But uh, hopefully we see him get the check mark soon. Hopefully I'm right, and that is, this is a better way to be more communicative with the community going forward. Because I told you guys a few weeks ago, a few months ago, uh, that it, things looked like they were going better. But then they like it kind of like dropped off, and that's why I was really hopeful in beta two. Beta two was a lot better than beta one. We still have more time until we get to Overwatch two, but it looks like the team is doing the correct things, not only to set them up in game but out of game, which is big W.